How did you learn, like really learn your second language? Content, content, give me more English, not that make you crazy up here. Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia, and this is the Ewa channel, a place where we talk about everything related to learning English, everything. Phrases, expressions, grammar, and ways that you can learn English and learn it more effectively. That's what we're gonna talk about today some really specific strategies to help you add more English to your daily life and to grow faster. I'm excited about today's topic, but first, take a moment and click the bell with notifications so you won't miss any other great videos here at the eBlock channel. So right now, I want you to pause the video in just a second and go down to the comments and complete this sentence. I love English because it's one word. Just one word is great. I love English because it's important, it's beautiful, it's helpful. Of course, you can always say something longer too. I love English because it helps me to get a better job or it helps me to make friends. So right now, pause the video and answer that sentence. I love English because it, and tell us below in the comments. So when people ask me, how did you learn, like really learn your second language? I always respond by telling them part of my story. My story about what happened for me to transform how I started to learn Spanish differently. The short version of that story is that a long time ago, I was in another country, Costa Rica, incredible place. I did not speak Spanish. It was like hola and almost nothing else and it was really difficult for me. I had some bad experiences where people did not have patience with me, including a teacher who threw me out of class because he said I was stupid and I would never learn the language. Very bad experiences. But then I met this family and I can't explain it, but I just knew that I wanted to communicate with them. I wanted to get to know them and they wanted to get to know me. And that is when everything started to change for me. So stay with me, because I'm excited to share some specific strategies with you. I'm gonna go back for just a minute. Okay, so picture me, a lot younger, in a country where I did not speak the language, there was no Google at this time, no cell phones, but I had a reason to want to learn to speak. And so I did what I'm gonna tell you to do today, but you can do it better, because we have better technology today. But I started looking for every opportunity to use Spanish. In the same way, you're gonna start to look for opportunities to use English in ways that you never have before. So let me give you some examples. I remember that I had to go from my house to downtown to another, another city to a fourth stop to go to my job every day when I lived in Costa Rica. That was a lot of time on the bus. So what do you think I did? I used that time to practice my Spanish. And in the same way, you're gonna start thinking right now, start thinking about an activity that you do during the day where you can add some Spanish, an activity, a thing. So this is what I would do. I would get on the bus and I would look for usually an older woman because they were safe to talk to. And I would sit next to them on the bus and I would make up an excuse to speak with them in Spanish. Usually like this, but in Spanish. Uh, excuse me, do you know where the bus stop for blah, blah, blah is? And of course I knew, I knew the answer. I went to the same bus stops every day, but it became my opportunity to practice speaking. There was no shortcut. What I did is I started using my time on the bus to actively practice speaking Spanish. And I had a little notebook that I kept with me all the time and I would write down new phrases. And sometimes when I was speaking with people, I would take out my notebook and ask them to repeat it and then write it down. In 2022, we probably don't have a lot of writing notebooks, maybe, but most of us use our phones to write everything. So you absolutely can do the same thing. But this is strategy one. After you've thought about your why and think about it over and over, strategy one is to think of an activity Activity, a specific activity that you do right now where you can start adding in more English. So for me, that activity was riding the bus. For you, it might be when you're getting ready in the morning 
instead of listening to music in your first language, you can listen in English. But don't just listen in English, that's passive. You'll learn a little. Instead, listen intentionally, either for pronunciation, the ways we connect our words, for new vocabulary, anything, anything that you wanna focus on. And then, of course, you wanna speak. So how do you speak? You start singing. If you're listening to a song, pass it, and you sing the song or say the words out loud, then you're speaking, it's active. Right now, take a moment and think, think in your head. And if you want to, you can add another comment and tell us your activity that you're gonna start adding more English. So some more examples I've seen students use is maybe it's when they are cooking, they're gonna start using a recipe in English instead of in their first language. Or maybe you really like to watch the news. So maybe you still watch it in your first language, but then you also watch it in English. So you're taking a specific activity and you're changing it and putting it into English. Strategy two is similar, that instead of focusing on a specific activity that you're gonna add more English, you're gonna focus on a specific time. So for example, it could be every morning before I go to work, I'm gonna spend 10 minutes and watch a YouTube video and then learn some new expressions and look for a way to use those at work. So your time is before work. It could be, I've got a lunch break. I'm gonna use that lunch break to add in some more English. Or maybe it's at night after the kids are sleeping or your family is doing something else or you're by yourself and you think, I can use this time to practice more English. So strategy one was to find an activity that you can do more English. Strategy two is find a specific time to add more English. Those are simple, but they will make a big difference in how you learn the language. And the more you practice it and use it over and over again, the easier it will get, the more fluent you will be, and the more confidence you will have. That's our goal. So to help you on this journey, you can also read the description below and follow me on a different YouTube channel, English Unite. I would love to see you there. And be sure to follow Iwa, great learning material. So come back here soon for another video. Take a moment and check out this video up here so that you can learn some really fun, common slang expressions. I personally say them all the time and I think you should too. So check it out and we will see you back here for the next YouTube video.